you know, what is going on and what is going off. David Hasselhoff, check it out. In front of us, we have Optimus Prime from the Transformers 1 movie. And this is their main line. Um, they're called like Prime Changers or something like that. Like, I don't think this is a deluxe. And as you can see, he has one Jetwing armor. Really, really cool stuff. One blue cog and the Soundwave set, uh, Soundwave wings, excuse me, from the Construct Bot set. And so I'm going to show you how to make the whole Jetwing thing and also go through the transformation for Optimus. And uh, we're going to have a good time. So stick around, okay? He's nice, isn't he? Man, I really, really like the look. I think the gray fits his gray pretty well. The blue and the red complement, obviously, his chassis over here. And even on the back, you know, I'm just going to remove the stand for now. I love how this bit kind of looks like its thruster is a... And the great thing is he can also, like, tilt his head back. So if you wanted to get into, like, a Superman pose, like, flying... That's really cool, too. Great, great stuff. Um, I will tell you what is not great. And in order to make this work... So there is a 5 milli here, and that is for this bit when it transforms, uh, when he transforms into alt mode. However, I don't know if you can see, you can see that there's a little bit of like work done. There is like a thin, something protrudes actually that prevents like a deep, deep connection. You can see that the, the post over here is quite long, um, but it wouldn't fit natively like all the way in order to get that to go like pretty deep. We had to kind of shave that bit off. Um, sanding won't work that well because this is made of vinyl plastic. Uh, but I was able to just take an exacto knife, an exacto knife, excuse me, just get the tip in there and just kind of like shave around. And I was able to remove it. And, um, and yeah, so you do need to do that. That's 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 the caveat. And uh, I'm not really sure why they added that bit in there um, either. Yeah, I, I don't know why. It's just an extra piece of plastic that would have cost them more money to do. Um, it would have been better had they just kind of kept it. Yeah, clean so that you can just pop that in, right? Looks really, really good. And um, all this is, is this is just one blue cog torso, right? And he's kind of doing the Van Damme, but we have the hips kind of arced forward so that it can, this can like hug around the body. And this, these are the wings from uh, Soundwave from the Construct Bot sets. And so, yeah, that's one of the great things about like holding on to some of your old toys. You can still mix and match with the modern line, especially with the five millimeter gimmick. And so big, big, big fan, as you all know. Um, and then we have Cog's arms over here. And then we have the blasters plugged in. And th this is just a really nice look. Almost has some type of like Green Goblin, like glider look or something like that. And he could probably, oh, you know what? I forgot. He doesn't have ports underneath his feet. So um, that's really about it for the armor. And that's pretty simple, right? So I'll set that to the side. And as far as this dude goes, uh, these are just the cog legs, um, of course, with the thighs bent in. And then we have, um, oh, <laughs> we have, uh, and this is a secure enough connection. And then we have his little like blaster smokestack things just plugged in at the top. So that's pretty easy. So yeah, this is an ultra easy bake. Easy bake at home um, build, but you do need one blue cog or, or red cog if you want. And um, you do need the construct bots, sound waves, construct bots, wings. And then you do need to do a little bit of that surgery over there and clean that area up. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at this guy. A very nice figure. A very, very nice figure. And um, it's not quite deluxe size. It's smaller, but at the same time, the price point was also cheaper. I didn't pay 25 out the door. It was it was 19.99 or something like that for this guy and um yeah that, that that's a decent enough price point that's a decent enough price point i would say um he has some cool things going on over here with the way he's gripping the axe you can see that the fingers have been molded in so he's kind of doing this thing versus it just kind of replacing the fist all together oh that's tight and so um i think that's done well yeah for what it's worth i think it's done well and it's a different take and so he's kind of like palming the axe like a basketball player and so that's pretty neat um, tolerances wise and everything else, like, yeah, he, he gets a lot of like, you know, 360s. There isn't like a butterfly or anything like that. I'm not sure if this goes up. Oh, okay. So if he wanted to be SS 102, <laughs> he could do that as well. <laughs> um, paint is done well. Details are done well for what it's worth. Everything looks very solid. And that's a very cool thing about this toy and the way it transforms is that, yeah, you don't see a lot of gaps, um, other than like, you know, the forearm and stuff like that for the fists. And face is done decent enough. It looks like a kind of like an amalgam of all these different types of primes that I recognize, but um, it's a very familiar and very likable face in my opinion.
I know it's pretty cool. And I actually like this version better than the Studio Series version because in alt mode, his arms actually have a place to hide. And so, um, speaking of alt mode, yeah, why didn't I show you that right now? Oh, before we do all of that, I was going to say, in terms of like bot bending and stuff, I mean, I showed you a second ago, but he has five millis here, five millis here, and one here that you got to clean up. And then we have him in his hands, but unfortunately, he doesn't have any in his feet. But I do recognize that for the sake of transformation, uh, they couldn't do that. So um, that's fine. Um, I'm going to be forgetting the sequence of operation here, but, uh, oh, I was going to say, he does also have a matrix chamber. That's pretty cool, man. Um, you can pop this down and then you can see it's in there and he can grip it with his hands as well. So well done, Hasbro. Well done. Um, very cool toy gimmick. And so this is going to be extended. It's going to be the grill of the car when he transforms, um, and the arms will, uh, pop down. And then this whole bit, I believe, oh, okay. So this is gonna come up, the head is gonna tilt back. This is gonna spin around, but this whole contraption, there you go, there you go. That has to move around. And then, I don't know why, uh oh. <laughs> there we go, nice and solid, pow, pow. Oh, I was also gonna say, my copy when I got it, the waist was not plugged in properly. And so that actually prevented me from transforming this thing. Uh, in the way it was designed, and I was super rage quitting. I was upset, and I couldn't figure it out. I was like, there's no clearance. Why did they design it like that? I watched a ton of people's videos, and none of them were having the issues. And that's when I realized, like, oh, you know what? There's probably something off. And then you saw the way I bent the hand right, and then that goes in there. And then this all tabs up. There's a tab. There's a small post that helps you align this. What's going on? Did the waist... Did, did the waist come loose again? No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so yeah, there there is that tab right there. Uh, there is also a oh my, yeah, there it is. There's that little like nub, and there's a port, corresponding port in the arm that plugs into it. So you just accordion all of that down, and you just make sure everything lines up in its channels. And I can't do that for some reason. <laughs> Maybe it's, I needed clearance on the forearms. Bro, what's going on, dude? Oh, the Matrix came out. Now, yeah, that's one thing I noticed. The Matrix has a tendency to kind of like pop out. Um, maybe I'll just remove it for now. But uh, not a big deal. There we go. Now we can get everything to sit flush and properly. And that plugs in. I think these face forward, yeah. And then from here, this is kind of cool, man. The legs open up and then they fold. And then this will, like there's a little tab and slot right there. You can see the foot and the forearm. And then this closes up too. And that's nice, that's nice. Same thing on the other side. I like this. I like the transformation a lot. Um, I like how it cleans up. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the aesthetic of the movie, to be completely honest. But, uh, you know, I, I can still say that, that I like the toy and the engineering and what went behind it. Oh, then I forgot. This has a nice little storage, too. So you can put this between his legs. You sandwich them together. There are two posts. And then you can just bring this in. Eh? Yeah, okay, just get a little clearance. And there you go. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Cleans up pretty well. Uh, in terms of like where this guy is scans, it's like, you know, if we compare him to the Warper Cybertron stuff, like those deluxes are larger than him. And he is probably, I don't know. You know how the Bumblebees are kind of like smaller versions of deluxes? He's a little bit along there slash like bordering into the Earth Spark stuff. So somewhere, somewhere. But I think I, I wouldn't want to pay more than 20 bucks for this. If they asked me to pay 25, I probably wouldn't buy this. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see what their Megatron looks like. I've only seen the Studio Series one, and uh, I have not seen one at this scale, the, the what is it, the Prime Changers line. But um, I am curious to see him. Just wondering if he has those knee-high boots like the Studio Series one. Um, I haven't found a way to kind of like connect this. If I could, that'd be pretty rad, but um, I didn't really put a lot of thought into it. But perhaps, you know what, if I extended these up, 
I could somehow find a way to get these posts if I rearrange them here to kind of sit. Should we try? Should we try since we're just right here? I mean, you guys are just here chilling too, right? I'm just here chilling as well. And my stomach is grumbling. I'm getting kind of excited as I put this together though. I mean, I know I, I know you probably can't tell, but I'm just I'm like, <laughs> like, is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? <laughs> Um, I may need to move the axe. I, I would hope that, that that I wouldn't have to, though. I would prefer to keep the axe in there. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if the posts underneath the hands are not as large as the ones on top, because I'm having difficulty fitting... Yeah, that won't fit. Oh, that's too bad, dude. But watch, I bet you it'll fit from the top, though. Yeah, no issues fitting from the top. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. But you know what? Since we're here anyway, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to see if I can swap. I'm going to try swapping the fists. Yes, at this point, we're getting kind of Frankenstein-y. I know. I know. But whatever I do, it's my toy, my time right now. And um, I get to do whatever, whatever I want. So cool, I've reversed the fists now. And now they will plug in properly. I may have to redo the um, the thumbnail. Oh, the arm popped off. This one's not going in that well. Okay, there we go. Let me clean this up. I think it's possible. Give me a second. All right. Hey, by no means is it perfect, but uh, you can mount it. You can mount it. I mean, we had to do a little bit of surgery with the hands there, and it does kind of make the legs, um, they're, they're not as straight as they should be. But I don't know, man. You could still do it. And to me, that's a cool play pattern, dude. That's a cool play pattern that one can explore. And now we have Jetwing Prime. Oh, we didn't, we didn't add the legs. Um, I'm sure I could figure this out. Well, whatever, dude. Since we're here, we may as well finish the job, dude. But I'm excited, dude. I'm going to change the thumbnail. I'm going to actually add this, and then we'll bring these out as blasters. Yeah. Heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah, bro. Then, um, maybe I could just put these here. All right, I could even have them on the side if I can get the proper clearance, which I would much rather do. There we go, son. Mm. This one's not going in. Rather tight. But yo, dude. I'm liking this, dude. That's cool, man. That's cool. I'm digging it. No, I'm digging it, dude. Spent a little extra time, but we got here, and um, I'm glad that we did that. I'm glad that we... I'm glad that we did that, dude. This is a lot of fun, dude. Mm, mm. Had a great time. Had a great time. Hope you all did, too. Hope you liked the video. Very, very nice. Bye.